This Red Rock 4x4 Vader grill in matte black is for anyone with a 2007 to 2018 JK that's looking for a new grill that's going to completely change up the look of your Jeep. This is going to be a very easy grill to install, one out of three wrenches, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a second. So generally, when you're changing out the grill on your Jeep, you are doing it for those aesthetic purposes. You want your Jeep to look different from the other ones that rolled off the assembly line, and this grill is going to give you that. Now, grills in general are sort of a love it or hate it thing, and because this is such an aesthetic mod, you're not really buying this for functionality. If you like the way this grill looks, it's going to be a good option for you. If you don't, take a look at some of the other choices out there. A few things that I like about it are that it does have this mesh in here, so it is going to help to protect the radiator just a little bit. You're going to have this hole in the center here, which is gonna make it a little bit easier to get to the hood catch, or if you have a hood lock and it happens to line up with this hole, that's going to be functional for you as well. It is going to be a nice heavy plastic material, even heavier than the factory grill is, so really well built. Of course, it accepts your factory turn signals as you would expect it to. Overall fit and finish is pretty high quality here. You're gonna have all of these exposed uh, screw heads, so it does give it a little bit more of that industrial rough and tumble look. Uh, so again, if that's what you're after, this is gonna be a pretty nice choice. As far as grills go, this one's going to be pretty fairly priced in my opinion. This is gonna be right around that $115 mark. That's pretty much what you should expect for a grill that has some metal in it. Of course, that's gonna be a little bit more expensive than the all plastic grills that you can get for your Jeep. I do like the fact that this comes with all of your hardware and new weather stripping for across the top here. So it is really an all-inclusive piece, comes with everything you need to get it installed. So overall, like I said, I think it's a pretty good deal. Very, very simple install here, one out of three wrenches. Let me show you how to do it. For this installation, we just need a trim removal tool. So this is gonna be a very simple one out of three wrench installation. The first step is to pop the hood and get our factory grill removed from the Jeep. There are gonna be a couple of plastic clips across the top that we'll remove with our trim removal tool. Then just give it a yank to remove it from the Jeep. But before we do that, we'll have to make sure we unplug our turn signal. So again, first step, pop the hood. So we'll use our trim removal tool to pull up the center of our plastic clips, and then we can pull the rest of the body of the clip out. We're gonna leave the clips assembled because we are gonna be reusing these in the installation of our new grill. So we'll set that aside and pop the other five out. With all those top clips removed, we can pull the grill off. Across the bottom, there are just some tension clips here, so just give it a little bit of pressure and the grill will pop off. Like I said before, we're going to have to unplug our turn signals before we can completely remove the grill from the Jeep. And in order to do that, there are just going to be a couple of little push pins that you have to push down to release. With those unplugged, we can take the grill completely off the Jeep. With the grill side by side on the table, there are a few things we need to do to prepare the new grill before we can install it on the Jeep. And the first thing is going to be transferring our factory turn signals from our factory grill over to the new grill. So these are just gonna come out through the front, but on the back side, there are a couple of plastic pins that we're going to push down. And all you gotta do is push those, and the turn signal will pop right out. In order to get it installed in the new grill, just from the front side, push it in and these little plastic clips will engage and hold it in place. So like I said, installing the turn signals in the new grill is as simple as pushing them in from the front side. That's all there is to it. The last bit of prep work we need to do on the new grill is to install these plastic clips and they're going to go along the bottom here on these plastic pins and then a couple on the turn signals as well. So these are just gonna press into place very simply over top of the plastic. They are designed to go on and not come off very easily so you wanna make sure you put them on firmly and fully because they are gonna be very difficult to remove if you ever needed to. Now we'll do the two on the turn signals.
Now it's time to get our new grill installed on our Jeep. So we're gonna go ahead and just set it here on top of the bumper. That'll allow us to plug in both of our turn signals. I'm gonna make sure you plug them in all the way and also lock down the red retaining clips. That way you make sure they're not going to vibrate loose on you. Do the same on the other side here. Now we can clip the bottom of the grill into place. So we'll just make sure all of our plastic tabs are lined up across the bottom there. And then just give it a push to clip it in. Now we can move on to reinstalling the plastic clips across the top of the grill. The last step is to install this piece of weather stripping across the top of the grill. And you're gonna know where to install it because there's a small hole in the weather stripping, which is going to align with this small hole on top of the grill and get held together with these small plastic clips that come in the kit here. So as with any 3M or any sort of uh, adhesive like this, you wanna make sure that the area you're going to be applying it to is nice and clean and free of grease. That way you get some good adhesion. So we've wiped this down and we can go ahead and peel the red backing off of here and get it started on top of the grill. So we're gonna get it started here. Again, making sure that our screw holes lined up and we'll actually press that plastic clip into place to make sure nothing moves on us. Then we can work our way across the front of the grill here, just peeling back the adhesive backing as we go. When we get to the other end, we'll put in our other plastic push pin. Just make sure all of your adhesive is fully seated. You can give it a little bit of a push to make sure it sticks good. With the weather stripping installed, all we have to do is drop the hood and we're done with the install. So if you're looking for a grill that's going to completely change up the look of the front of your Jeep, I would recommend this choice from Red Rock 4x4 and you can find it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.